Girl Scout cookies are a time-honored tradition, but this year it sounds like some people are taking advantage of the kids, even going so far as to try to rob one troop. King 5's Amy Marino live in Edmonds tonight, where one group that lost money is back out selling their cookies. Amy? Well, Greg, this is hard to believe. The troop out here, uh, they experienced a situation with counterfeit money. Other troops are having people just run up, grab the cookies, and take off. And last night, it escalated to the point there was a gun involved. How would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? We have the dance badge. The Brownies in Troop 42452 have all sorts of badges on their vests. We've done bird watching. Yeah, we, yeah, and then we had this one. The boats. But they recently learned a harsh lesson that even has adults shaking their heads. I uh, took it to the bank and they were running it through the machine and it stopped and they said you have two counterfeit bills here. They found a third bill and now the troop is out $60. Kind of a wake up call that we can't just take whatever bill we're given we need to. We can't just trust everyone who comes to our booth. The girls were selling the cookies to raise money for a trip and a service project. Now they're checking every bill. It really feels bad because I don't like fake money. Me either. It's just really rude. Still, troop leaders say they're lucky considering what happened to a troop outside of Tacoma, Fred Meyer. Two men with a gun tried to rob that bunch. The thieves didn't get away with any cash or cookies, but that group and other troops are understandably shaken. It's the lowest of the low. You know, you're stealing from little girls, and you're stealing from little girls who are making a huge effort to do their best in the community. This Edmonds troop lost $100 to a counterfeit bill. Leaders think the Girl Scout Council will cover the loss, but it's disappointing anyone would take from the kids. That's really sad, you know. The cookies aren't, aren't just about the money, you know, they learn ethics and how to talk to customers and how to deal with disappointment when they're told no thank you 300 times, but it's part of life. And we've also had reports that a troop in Marysville was also given counterfeit money. Now these girls have about another week to try and sell more cookies and make up all that money. Keep in mind for every $5 box they sell, they only get to keep 85 cents. We're live tonight in Edmonds. Amy Marino, King 5 News. All right, Amy. Of course, this comes ahead of National Girl Scout Day, which is tomorrow, March 12th. It marks the organization's birthday. It was 1912. The Girl Scouts' first 18 members were registered in Savannah, Georgia. National Girl Scout Day is the last day of Girl Scout Week.